everyone, my name is Ashley. Today I'm gonna to prepare you very delicious burek. They can call parashki, they can call, call panini, but it's with filo dough. I wanna show you. This is the filo dough. They sell it with the box and it comes just like in the plastic bag like this. So now it's open over here. In case if you are very slow, but don't worry, it won't dry that fast. So what we need is, I put over here about two cup of uh, cassique cheese and one cup of mozzarella cheese. Now for the cheese, you can put any kind of cheese you want, it's fine. And we need one bunch of parsley. It will give very delicious taste. This is one bunch. You can put little if you want. And we need one egg we're gonna cut. So what it does, the egg, it just hold it each other with the cheese and the parsley. When you cook it, it will kind of hold it each other. All right. And we need maybe the salt, it depends. If your cheese is salty, don't put. You can put any seasoning you want on it. I'm just gonna put a little bit pepper and a little bit cumin. And that's it, which is red pepper. You do not need to put anything else and it will be very, very tasty. All right, this is the stuffing. We need oil. You can use canola oil, you can use vegetable oil, mazzola, whatever you want, whatever you like to use. So now the filo dough you see here, it's very, very thin. It's very thin. You can put, if you want, you can put whichever way you want, this way or the other way, you will fold it. And each layer, some of the filo doughs are very thin and some of the filos are a little bit thick. This one, it looks like it's very, very thick. If it's very thin one, then you can put uh, two layer. This is pretty heavy, it looks like it for me that I got it. So you have to put like this and just little oil. Do not worry, doesn't have to put, doesn't have to be exactly all the corner. Just make sure that it has oil. So what it's gonna do, the oil, when you bake it in the oven, it's gonna fluff it up. And try to make it like about eight layer, will be fine, which is perfectly okay. Sometimes even if you get like two layer, do not worry, it's fine, okay too. So, this is the way you'll put it, and then you put the oil, and then you'll cover it. Make sure that when you are putting it, just make sure that the sides, the corner, it will be even. I think what I mean, like, you know, the thickness, make sure it comes to the edges. And then when you put the other edges to be even. So this is very, very simple and easy recipe. And I will guarantee you, you will love it. You're gonna enjoy it. Like I said, while I'm here, I have a lot of friends, customers. They really would love to enjoy with me every time I do. We'll have a nice dinner or lunch together. Now, we put them together. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna fill this with the cheese. There you go, the stuffing. Okay. There we go, just spread like this. Now we're gonna cover it with the rest. All right. And then we're gonna cook this about, it will take about 40 to 45 minutes. When you see the dough is risen and it's red on top, pink color, that means it's ready. So this is very, very simple, easy recipe. You don't worry that you're gonna mess up your dough like it's not gonna dry because everybody thinks that because it's thin, it will be dry. In case if you're very slow, it's hard for you to just put a piece of cloth on it between them or plastic uh, cover on it. 
so it won't dry but you do not have to worry about it there you go sometimes it be, will be stuck together you just make sure that you get always fresh one because sometimes you should check the dates some of them they will be very very much stuck together and you won't be able to do in case if you open it you're going to use it make sure that between them you just put the oil it's okay if some of them are stuck together just make sure that it's not that old all right so let's finish this here it is and what you can do let's say if the uh, some of them are ripped for example let's say over here like small pieces try to put it under and then try to put the good ones on top just to be covered let's see if i have over here see this one it looks like it's stuck together i could put this under but and then the rest i could put see this side is ripped and the top part it looks pretty good so it's not gonna hurt you you can just do this here we go and it looks beautiful now what we have to do is we're gonna cut this all right now i'm gonna take the knife so now you take the electric knife and what you have to do is you can cut either way you want you can cut it like a diamond shapes or you can cut it squares let's say if i have to make diamond if you want to make squares you cut like this way and straight if you want to make diamond you can go like this this is electric knife it's gonna make noise Now we're going to go the other way. And try to hold it with your fingers because the dough, it might move. Now that we cut it we need one cup of milk this cup is too big that's why i made a little less just one of one cup of milk and one egg we need so what we have to do we cut the egg we're gonna hit like this we're gonna mix it and that's what the egg and milk is gonna cook it Let's see. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour on it and we're gonna put this in the oven, 350, for about 40 to 45 minutes. All right, and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you. So it's gonna be baking now. You don't have to do, you can do preheat or not, doesn't matter. It's going to be 45 minutes. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how delicious and beautiful it's going to look. All right. All right. Now I think it's ready. 45 minutes is finished. And we're going to see how it looks. Wow. Looks so beautiful. So this is the way it has to look. It will rise and it will look nice and pinky color and this is the way you put it on your table for your guests so they can enjoy it it smells very beautiful delicious it has very pretty smells now we're going to put this at the table and my guests are going to enjoy it well i hope you'll try this and it's very tasty i will say and it's very simple easy recipe thank you again for watching and if you like it please like and subscribe my channel thank you again bye bye Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this channel. I want to thank to all my patrons on patriot.com for their support.
to make my channel possible. Thank you.